Ho Outsiders, welcome back to The Outside In, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is E.I. Werner, and I'm a fantasy fiction author who streams competitive WoW and strategy games on the interwebs. Today, we're going to be talking about this absolutely epic new deck-building roguelike game called Monster Train. If you're not familiar with the deck-building roguelike genre, the way it works is that you start with a bunch of simple weak cards and battle your way through fights while acquiring new items, upgrades, and cards as you go. Every run is unique, as you'll be presented different cards and powerful artifacts that vastly alter your deck strengths and weaknesses. The best players will be those who can adapt to every situation and find creative synergies to topple the ever-changing challenges presented to them. The story of the game is not super flushed out, but the concept is awesome. The angels of heaven have conquered hell, causing it to freeze over, and we, the champions of purgatory, must deliver the pyre so that we can reignite the flames of hell and return home. So, should you play Monster Train? I think my opinion is obvious at this point, but yes, you should definitely pick up this game. I've mastered dozens of roguelike deck builders, and I can say with confidence that Monster Train will likely end up being my favorite for several reasons. First and most importantly, Monster Train is absurdly fun and addicting. In my first three days owning the game, I've already logged 35 hours, and truth be told, I can't wait to finish this recording so I can go home and play some more. Second, the soundtrack and artistic style of the game are stunning especially when compared to Slay the Spire, the widely considered best roguelike game of all time that also happens to look like it was made in your little cousin Edward's high school computer science class. Third, Monster Train is only $25 and can be run entirely offline, making it a perfect game to pass the time on a long flight or a soul-crushing family vacation. Finally, Monster Train is easy to pick up, but has so much depth that even a master card game player like myself has only just begun my descent into hell. There are five classes, with legions of armies and vastly different playstyles. Even more than that though, every time you embark on a run, you also pick a secondary class and have access to all of their cards, making the deck building possibilities truly endless. And after you've beaten the final boss, you have not beaten the game. After every victorious run, you unlock new levels of difficulty called Covenants that go all the way up to 25. And if you want to watch a Legend Hearthstone player break the Monster Train meta with crazy new decks, Shoot me a follow on Twitch where I'll be playing practically <coughs> every day. I also have a five minute deck building fundamentals guide coming out in a few days that I highly recommend. The three tips I provide are not intuitive, but after hearing them once, I really think it'll all click for you, especially if you're new to games like these. That's all I've got for today, so please like, comment, and subscribe or whatever. It really helps a brand new YouTuber like me get my footing. Also, maybe consider turning on that bell thingy because I'll be releasing new Monster Train videos at least once a week for the next few months, and I'd love to bring you along for the ride. And with that, I bid you Godspeed and good fortune on your adventures.